got a new way for you to keep in touch with family and friends. This week, the internet company unveiled Google Latitude. Latitude lets you use your mobile phone or other wireless device just like a GPS system. The company says the feature adds social flavor to its popular Google Maps. It may also be helpful for some parents trying to keep track of their kids. But is Latitude an invasion of privacy? Well, John Verdi is the Electronic Privacy Information Center representative speaking with us this morning. Good morning to you, John. Good morning, Alex. I'm curious about the privacy issues that come immediately to mind with you for you with a feature like Google Latitude. What do you get concerned about? Well, Google Latitude is a piece of software that basically uh, can permit your cell phone to be turned into a spy device. Uh, th this is this is software that um, enables tracking, um, so that. Uh, Google and uh, potentially your friends and family know exactly where you are um, at 24-7 at any moment during the day. Okay. Now, now, John, here, here's something, though, that, that is interesting. I mean, I'm looking at my BlackBerry. I know this would be enabled to be, uh, at, you know, outfitted with at this point. That said, it would have to come with my permission, correct? I mean, I'd have to sign on to this. And isn't it uh, to only an exclusive group of people to whom I'm willing to release that information? I mean, d they're not just letting out this or anybody can, can do it, right? Well, the system, the way it's set up right now, is certainly opt-in, um, and you, you do have to opt into it and, and sign up for it, uh, which is a good thing. Um, but I think that there are very real privacy risks to Google Latitude that users aren't necessarily aware of. Um, and a lot of the questions that are raised about services like this, and it's a question that's very fair to ask about Google Latitude, is exactly what sort of data Google is retaining from Google Latitude and what sort of locational data um, it is going to continue to use in the future. So while the software is set up right now to only make this data available to the friends that you select, um, there aren't any clear legal restrictions um, on what Google can do with this data if it retains it, and it's unclear how much of this locational data Google is retaining. So it's quite possible that with a piece of software like this, someone could develop a historical track of, some, uh, of an individual's user's locations over time. Okay, but Google says, they make this promise, Sean, that they will not retain any information about the user's movements. Only the last location that's picked up by the tracking service, that's what gets stored on the computers. If that's true, does that go far enough? cell phone story you've been waiting for. Cell phone users beware, Big Brother may be listening. The Federal Bureau of Investigation can now hear everything you say, even when the cell phone is turned off. I know it sounds kind of out there, but using your phone's tracking device, authorities can now activate the microphone inside the dreaded thing, allowing them to eavesdrop on you and your conversation. So we've decided to start saying all kinds of weird stuff all the time. Not really serious business, and the FBI used this form of surveillance to keep tabs on critical conversations by people they call known members of the mafia. Experts say the only way around it is to take the battery out of the thing. 